Welcome to a new MNR vlog. This week we've got some brand new Lego Star Wars sets coming in the mail, including the UCS TIE Interceptor for 2024 and Grogu's Bark Speeder Escape. That one should be here today. The TIE Interceptor says Tuesday, but it just got to Tennessee today, so and it's on like Express Express, so it should be here tomorrow, but we'll see. Either way, soon. And then in the other room, I'm printing a bunch of labels from my whatnot stream from the other day. I just gotta get all this whatnot stuff taken out of this room and put into the other room to be shipped. Just had this box come in on a Sunday from DHL. I thought they didn't deliver on the weekends, but sure enough, here's my package. I've actually been doing some work ahead of time by editing the timeline for this video, like the intro and stuff, because it's the Bark Speeder Escape set. Here it is, set 75378, ready to be reviewed. The box felt exceptionally small to me, so I actually had to bring in the other Battle Pack box to compare. I just thought it was smaller for some reason, but it's not. For whatever reason, when I took it out of the other box, I was like, this thing feels tiny, but no, it's the same size as the other $30 sets are now. I did bring my gunship in here too, because in the intro, I talked about how this could have been a set complete with gunship, but it turned out not to be. Small update, my UCS TIE Interceptor got to Tennessee and has left Tennessee and is on its way to Orlando, which means it should be here tomorrow morning, which is Monday, April 15th, which I think is the reveal date also for the UCS TIE Interceptor, which sucks. I was really hoping I would get it before. It would have been insane, because it still hasn't leaked. Like if I got it today, I'd put out my review today and it'd be a reveal review of my, bro, it was literally 24 hours from doing that. Oh, it's so close. FedEx, why must you be so slow? All right, fellas, it is officially Monday. It's about 8.30 a.m. The TIE Interceptor leaked overnight, but it hasn't been revealed yet, but it should be revealed today in about 30 minutes. Now, mine is out for delivery and should be here literally any minute within the next hour or two. And I, in the meantime, wanted to try to finish, I guess these don't vlog here now, <laughs> try to finish my Bark Speeder review. I don't think I'll be able to finish this first, but I actually, I'm not gonna finish my Bark Speeder review. I have the first two minutes on, which took forever because it was like 30 different clips for two minutes but i was actually going to record the intro voiceover for the tie interceptor so that as soon as i get the box i can start doing like the panoramic shots of the box and stuff so that's what i'm going to do now it is officially 9:03 a.m the tie interceptor is revealed we'll just pick on brick set here because they're the biggest of the blogs and uh they didn't post the pictures of it although the pictures of it are on instagram but they also didn't post a review which means i might have the first review even though i'm not in land Hmm. 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 Funny how that works. I'm excited. I, hey, to the person that was able to buy this and, and send it to me, big thank you. You know who you are, obviously, you know, privately. But uh, just, yes, very exciting day. I also have to finish the Bark Speeder review, and I want to make a video about the May 4th promo because it's really, really sick. Like, the droid carrier is awesome. And every time I hear brakes outside, I look out my window because I think it might be the UPS guy, but then it's just like a Nissan. <laughs> oh my God. So I just got done recording a video about a bunch of the new set pictures, like the TIE Interceptor, the May 4th promo, the book, all those brickheads and stuff. My TIE Interceptor still isn't here. It's 1030. It did say it would be here between 840 and 1040. So I'm a little tired of waiting, but I do have other work to do. So I will get this done while I can. But man, I'm excited for that set to show up any minute now, man. I see the FedEx truck out my window. Oh, it's moving. The FedEx truck is coming. All right, Tyner Scepter is about to be here, fellas. We're going downstairs to get it. Ooh, Jared, it drove right by. What? It drove right by. Oh, no. It said FedEx ground, not express too, which is not the truck I think I need. How are you gonna do that to me? Oh no, it stopped right there. It probably, it's probably, they probably just overdrew, <laughs> overdid it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Oh man, I thought, I was like, bro, I got all excited. <laughs> Come on back this way. Come on back. No, she's going the wrong way. She's walking down the street. I don't think, I don't think she's got my box. They left. That, that wasn't my truck. It's going to be the other truck whenever the other truck comes. Oh, that's brutal, dude. Absolutely brutal. So I just had to refilm part of the intro for the TIE Interceptor because Lego posted it on their website. It's actually only 230 not $240, which is really weird. That's like a price reduction. That's really weird. They don't do that often. All right, here's a cool behind the scenes thing for you. So right now you'll hear it says that the set costs $230. This set cost $230. That's $10 less than the normal $240 that this style of use. And if it turns out that Lego's listing is somehow an error or they change it or whatever, then I can just go in the YouTube editor, delete this part, and go like this. This set cost $240 that this style and of use set usually too. fetches. It's 
So pretty cool like way I've figured out that I can kind of like try to help myself. Cause like every once in a while, if you make a review this early, you can have an error like that where you just don't know the answer to that question of like, is it actually 230? So that should kind of keep me safe from that. All right, well, I only got a minute into editing my other video about all the pictures, which I'll get back to before I get the review of the tie interceptor done. I'm actually gonna finish and upload that before I upload the review of the tie interceptor since it just makes sense to upload the picture video first. But yeah, they stopped. That's the express truck that I saw this morning when I went to Chick-fil-A and they were at the bank and I was like, that's probably what my package is on. Yippee. I got the box here. The FedEx guy asked me if it was late because he said it was supposed to be here Saturday. <gasps> it was. <laughs> it literally says Saturday on the thing, dude. I could have had this Saturday before they revealed it. That would have been insane. Oh, that's so sad. Dang it. Oh, well. I still will have the first review. It's okay. It would have been so insane to be the one to reveal it to. They would have been so mad. And all this could be avoided if they would have just treat me right and do the right thing, but they don't do it, so I have to keep doing this. It does say ready to ship right there on the box. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty hot there. I like that. That's, that's a nice UCS tie interceptor. It's a lot better than the first one. I still got to build the first one, but man, this is a good looking UCS box. Very excited to build this. All right, it is thumbnail picture time for the tie interceptor. I just wiped down the box. Unfortunately, some of these marks are just kind of permanent, but just so that it can be as nice looking as possible for the thumbnail and the intro footage, I had to try to clean it up a little bit. So everything is as clean as it's gonna get. I'll take this picture, get the thumbnail made, and we'll be rolling. All right, guys, watch this. Hey, Jared, can you come do the thing? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we got him. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, oh, I was reeling you in. No, not, not like that. It's not raining. Uh, no, so when I take thumbnail pictures, sometimes there's bad glare, depending on the time of day. And uh, so sometimes you got to do the thing. <laughs> got to lock the light. Why get curtains when you have a Jared? So that'll, that'll clean us up nicely. This just came in the mail. Uh, big shout out to Flounder for helping me get this one. It was on like a Facebook group and my friend told me and I was like, I'm not in that Facebook group. Can you like, basically he brokered the deal for me. And so I got it. It looks amazing. It's got Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader and Technic, Super Battle Droid Technic, and the Slave One with Boba Fett, assumedly in there. I can't really see him, I guess. Uh, I got Zam Wessel and the Bounty Hunter Pursuit up there. I mean, what a sick banner from 2002. Just my luck, man. What a banner to get a hold of today. That's insane. Big shout out to Flounder Collects. He came over. He's gonna build the interceptor for me, or at least some of it. I'm trying to like really optimize my time today because I wanna get this review out today, but I also wanted to get the other video about all the pictures out. Tell me what you think about that display card. Anything you notice, think about when you look at it, the way it shines in the light, any smudges? I see maybe? a lot of finger smudges. That's how it came. Really? That's... Look at the Venator plaque so in the window. Like Did I tell you about creator? that? No, it's not, of the set not signed. <laughs> Did I tell you the the Venator one, right? You built the other Venator. Yours yeah. had a shiny or a matte black. Uh, mine was the um this one. Right? It was the matte one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because the shiny ones are the new ones, and they suck. Yeah, definitely. Have the it's definitely one. worse. I actually like the white instruction booklet. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks yeah. fine. I don't mind those, but that's that's bad. Um, all the parts are here. I had just kind of set them up in order already, so. They're good to go. This right here is exactly why I asked Chris to come over and help build a little bit is because I can still edit like all the intro and stuff and it's just like literally optimizing my time. I wanna build it really bad, but to be able to have the review out today, I kinda can't do everything. It's, yeah, got two hands. So my lunch came in. I'm editing more of the video for all the like the new set pictures. And also we got these in for a future project. Jared, come catch. Dang it. All right, so I got this video done and uploaded about all the new set pictures and I texted Chris and he said he is over halfway done with the TIE Interceptor build. So I'm gonna get back to work on everything that I can do for the TIE Interceptor. Actually, I was working on the thumbnail. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get everything I can do for the TIE Interceptor done in the meantime. And that way, as soon as the build gets here, I can crank out the rest of the review. I just wanna say and show how proud I am of my Photoshop skills, how far I've come. Look at that. I just cleaned the box out to make it so much nicer in Photoshop. Like, I can't believe I've actually gotten decent at Photoshop. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it looks way nicer now. So we're actually going to replace that in the timeline. I was just going to use the still. This is the same still that you see, like, at the end here, so which we have to keep because it's the pan down, so this box has to be kind of dirty there, but you only see it for a second. But this one's going to hold on screen for a few seconds. I'm going to switch out to the nice Photoshop box I made for the thumbnail because why not? 
Chris just texted me and said he finished the tie interceptor. I'm still editing like different things I've talked about, but I think he might bring it by soon. Uh, man, this is crazy. I got to get this done. Wow. I, he actually beat me to the punch a little bit here. I'm like, I got a minute of like audio to edit through still. So, wow, that's crazy. So Flounder brought the tie interceptor back. So huge shout out to him for helping me get that done. Cause I would not have had time. Like I'd, it'd be six o'clock now and it'd be until nine o'clock until I had the build. Fin you know what I mean? That's why it's super helpful. Uh, thank you very much to him for helping out. And, uh, now I can complete uh, my intro edit because I got the footage of like the minifigs ready to go. So I'll throw that into the intro and we'll be uh, good to go with the intro. Like I guess it's a four minute intro. It's a little bit more than an intro. The first section of the review and then we'll be on to the set, which will be reasonably simple to review hopefully. Although there's a lot of cool techniques, but I don't know how deep I want to go in on it. We'll see. It's 8.16, my goal is to play basketball at nine because that's when all the guys go. I just finished recording like all the audio for like the last minute and a half or so of the review. I just need to film, uh, I need to edit together the audio real quick and then film all the B-roll shots of like the tie interceptor next to the tie interceptor, tie interceptor next to the X-wing, and then like the outro shot with like the box and stuff. So that's it, I'm almost done. I can't believe it's taken me this long. It, the review is like so good, like I'm really happy with it, but man, I, I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately. They're taking me too dang long to make. Look at all these clips I took just for this one video. Like most of these are just clips for the Tire Receptor video. It's ridiculous. It's 8.45, I just finished, hit render. It's uh, officially gonna be nine minutes and 58 seconds. I'll watch back through it one time really quick on, on 2x speed or something, but I think I did it right. I think everything's good. I don't see any marks anywhere. Like I tried to use the mark tool to like know that I'm supposed to go in and like put a clip there, but I don't see any more marks. So I think we're all set as far as having the correct footage in the correct places. Hopefully. I just want to go play basketball at nine so bad. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer because I actually need to hit upload on this first and wait for it to upload, but shouldn't take too much longer now that it's rendering. All right, it's the next day now. I guess I can throw out my notes for the tie interceptor, my flow notes. Um, I have probably a, a strong desire to build the old one. This one, yeah, I guess they're built slightly wrong. Someone commented and said we built the lasers wrong, but let me, where did my tie interceptor even go? Oh, there it is. No, they pop out. I mean, they pop out on the box. Are they supposed to be pushed in more? Oh yeah, they do go in a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a little better, maybe. I still don't love it. Jared, this is why I don't let you review the Lego sets on the channel, dude. What the heck, bro? Why did you do that? What? <laughs> We're going to the store now. We're getting out of here. Let me make sure my upload's done, but it should be good. It should be good. Yeah, we're trading in these vendors. We could actually fill them with pasta, fake the tape, and then uh, trade them in for full value. But yeah, we're at Orlando Brickco here. Uh, just I'm giving them the these boxes. Jared's bringing the boxes in, I guess. I got it. I'm gonna trade them in here and see what kind of value we can extract. They can't lift the box. They can only look at it to give us the value. What's up? So we want to trade these in. All right, cool. You, you can't just... touch the box or pick it up before you give me money for it. Okay, that's fair. That's so seven hundred dollars each. I'll, I'll look at it. Should be. Give me just a second. As long as he doesn't lift this up and look inside, we're good. They're empty. <laughs> They're empty. What's going on with that uh, bark speeder over there? I just pulled it off around this Harry Potter garbage. That looks awesome. Someone, someone had some fun with that. That is, oh, you know, it's dirty, but yeah, that's pretty <laughs> sick looking. Did you see our black hair came in? No. That was just in someone's random bin they brought in. Oh yeah, god dang. That's nice. No, these are just for you guys to have, so. I, was, I told Joey or someone I would bring them in. Of course he goes right for the Marvel catalog. Some, this is a cool idea. They put a bunch of catalogs out on this table. This is sick. $50 and got, you get 49 VIP I got, points. Got, got. You got that one? I got that one. Dude. Nice. You remember that? I remember that. Really? I, I, this is the year we went to the Lego store. Yep. Yeah. I got that. Look at it. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Wow. $24.99. What a steal. Wait, somebody's drawing in here saying, no, I got that one already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is Grievous doing to those children? Hmm. All right, end of the book. All right, we're going to check out the Star Wars section over here, see what's up. All right, everything's looking pretty good. Actually, very nicely organized. Someone came in and cleaned it up, did a good job. Uh, I don't think I want any of these sets, though. MTT. I think I'm good. All right, well, let's get out of here. Let's go to 
Ooh, a Droidica. Lance and them added quite a bit to the city over here too, including some of the Santa Fe's. That's the best part about his collection is that he has Santa Fe's. It's the best Lego train. It's the best Lego train ever. Really thinking about streaming some Call of Duty on Twitch tonight, but to be able to do that, I at least gotta get this built so I can work on a review really easily. So I gotta sort of get a little work done, but yeah, this is a pretty simple build here. Just the three bags, like, I don't know why this piece ends up not in a bag. It's so easy to just throw in a bag. I, I'll never get what, like, random weird pieces like this when they don't come in bags. So weird. Anyway, this is going to be really fun, especially because I have the other one right there. What a beauty. I played a lot of COD tonight, and I'm spinning in my chair. I need to spin back. And so now it's, like, almost 1 a.m., and I'm just filming the intro to my Trade Federation troop or droid carrier. I can't remember which exact word it is. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna record the intro audio and I will grind out the rest of this tomorrow. It should be an easy review to make. It's literally a droid carrier, but I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I wasted a lot of time today. What a mistake. It's Wednesday and I just wrapped up my review on the Trade Federation troop carrier. So I finally got done. Took me many, many, many hours, but very happy with the outcome. I did a little bit something different in this one. I usually don't talk in front of the camera in reviews, but I had to talk about the fact that people are complaining that this one is a GWP because it's too good to be a GWP. And I'm like, if something is so good that you want to buy it elsewhere, it's probably a really, really good GWP, which is a good thing. You should inherently want to buy more of them. It's a catch-22. The better it is, the less you'll like it, which is weird. It's wrong. I, just, I think people should reframe it. So, uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. Like, there's been other options in the past. When I was 10 years old, I had to buy an MTT if I wanted a droid carrier. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, you know, you could, <laughs> this one's not for the kids. This one is literally for fans, 25 years, literally a remake of the old set but people are still upset. I don't get it. So my goal for Thursday now is to film my worst to first on every May 4th promo. So I got this. I know that I have a box somewhere with every May 4th promo. I just don't know where that box is. I don't think it's in here, but I know I moved it recently because I remember having it. But it shouldn't be any of these boxes. Like, like I think it's a brown box from what I recall. So we're on the hunt this morning. He ain't helping. Now, I think it's in the garage. I I might have put it up there. I just don't remember. I was cleaning this like in another vlog, I think, right? And I totally came across it when I was working on this space over here. I was like, what's this box? I was like, oh, cool, my May 4th promos. And then I put them somewhere and now I don't know where they are. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig in just to see, I guess, behind some of these sets, but this should all be, yeah, those are all fighter tanks that I bought for $25 on Black Friday. There's, you know, it's all Lego boxes back there. That's a Razor Crest, I think. It's not in a white box. I know it's in a brown box. So it's a bit of a struggle trying to find right now. Like I literally specifically kept this box of stuff so that when I needed every May 4th promo, I would have every May 4th promo, like ready to go. Today I need them and I literally can't find them. All these boxes up here, just black series. Like I know this entire shelf should be black series. So like I said, it's in a brown box. So it can't be any of these. This is all parts from mocks and things that I want to do. And that's all sets. And that's the Hulkbuster. And these are all sets. So, like, it literally can't be here. It's an MTT. I just don't know where exactly. This is definitely not the box. Um, it could be in here, but I've looked in here, like, four times. And it's just the same set boxes every time I look in here, no matter how many times I close the door and open it again. People commented last week that they really liked when I bought tables and built them, so they want me to buy more tables. <laughs> <laughs> Them tables are heavy.